Hey friends, we're back with another vlog this week. So on Monday, we made some mozzarella filled girasole pasta, uh, one of our faves, and we sauteed it with butter, spinach, and shallots. Then we hopped on a FaceTime call with our friend Joe, who was in town for work. We were arranging for him to bring back some treats to the rest of our Montreal friends. Then we ended the night watching Hospital Playlist. Turns out it wasn't the right fit for everyone in our K-drama gang, so Jen and I are continuing it by ourselves. So on Tuesday, we did some laundry and some cleaning. And then Dee actually made a brand new batch of Milo shortbread. As we mentioned, our friend Joe was in town for work. So we decided to make some shortbread to send back with him to Montreal. To ensure that the cookies got back to Montreal safe and sound, we decided to actually pack them in some old Ruru baked containers and they fit perfectly. Then Joe dropped by to pick the cookies up, did a quick taste test in the car, he loved them, and then we called it a night. On Wednesday, we finally got to try Jen's sister's veggie panadas, and they were amazing. And then for dinner, we decided to make some sushi bake. I will make sure to post a recipe video very soon. Then we had a FaceTime call with our friend Justin and caught up and that's how we ended our night. Hey friends! Happy Thursday! Hello! So today we're gonna be doing two unboxings. Uh, both packages were actually from our friends. One from, well, one care of Montreal friends and one care of uh, Vancouver friend. So we're gonna slash Australian friend. Slash Australian <laughs> friend. So the first box we're gonna be opening is from our Montreal friends. So Alvin, Olivia, Len, Joe, and Ash. Thank you so much. And it's from our place. Thank you guys. They oh, surprised man. us. So so sweet of them. Yes. Oh, and FYI, this is a Christmas gift. Um, but it was sold out, so they had to like pre-order it and it literally was just wow. sent out this week. So for reference, we did sanitize this box and let it sit for a bit. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Alright. Ooh. Ah, so beautiful. Wow. Let's turn this around. Oh man, this is beautiful. Oh, it's in the shop. Thanks guys, I can't wait to like cook and wow. try new, new uh, recipes. So I think this is the lid. Oh my gosh, it's so nice. It's like Wow. I mean... Honestly, I mean... I mean, I mean wow. yeah. So nice. Yeah. You know, this is like... Ooh. Oh my there, gosh. Here we oh, go. it even comes with this? So... This is so nice. Oh, for dumplings. And then, I've been holding on to this, but this is like um, this is a sponge for, oh, for, for cleaning. cleaning. So and nice. Then, and then, last but not least... Hey, it's yeah, and it's so light. Like, wow, it's really It's actually light. so light. I mean... But it feels expensive. It's beautiful. It feels expensive. So um, beautiful. This is actually the Always Pan. So it says the Always Pan is designed to help you do more with less. So get ready to steam, saute, braise, fry, stew, boil, sear, serve, store, and more. Let's okay. freaking go! <laughs> Wow, I'm wow. so happy. Thank you so much again, honestly, it's, to our Montreal gang. Like, wow. you guys are so sweet and really didn't have to, but thank you. Right. We'd gladly accept. <laughs> accept. It. So, now that we're done our, our place unboxing, we're gonna do one more. Um, and this is from our friend Justin, who lives in Vancouver, but he's originally from Australia. He was there over the holidays and brought back some treats um, and he sent it over. So, yeah, my boy Justin. Shout out, Justin. Follow him on Instagram. He's a dope. Photographer. Yes, he's a really good photographer. I'm just trying to figure out what's the right position. Okay, here we go. Oh my gosh! I already, I already see one. Oh, here Guys. we go. Yes. yes! Oh my god! But there are actually different kinds of Milo. Like, obviously, the branding is the same, but it's like yeah. can be made in different countries. So he sent us the Australian version. Yes, he's been like raving about it. Apparently, it's the best. Apparently, it's better. I mean, <laughs> 
Okay. We'll but, see. But let me compare the Milo that we got. Yes. Okay. I'm back. So for reference. Reference. Let's, let's see the difference. I mean, the branding is pretty much the same. Like it's the same logo. It's just, I think, the flavor, to be honest. Yeah, I can't wait to taste this. This. Uh, yes. Thank you, Justin. Already, this this was would have been more than enough, honestly. Yeah, yeah. thank you, Justin. Okay, next up are oh my gosh, Vegemite. Oh, let's go. Okay, so I personally have never had Vegemite. Have you? No. And he said that when we try it, we have to eat it with bread and butter. Um, so we will be doing that for you. We'll probably yeah, do a mukbang. We have to uh, Facetime him, and he's gonna try it out. Try I it also out I also love that it like it's like little packets. That's so cute. Shout out, Vegemite. Then, Very okay. Australian. Hey, he went off, off. Tim wow. Tam. Family pack. And again, this is an Australian version. I don't know if they have different versions. We get Tim Tams all the time, like at Loblaws and like Metro and stuff, but we're gonna try it out yeah. and see if it's different. Yeah, you, you, he always says, you know, the Australian okay. snacks are, they just hit different. Oh, so sweet. And then just a letter, but we'll read that yeah. privately. Well, thank you, Justin. Thank so you, Justin, sweet of you. you again, like I feel like our friends, they just like always go above and beyond. Um, so sweet. I know. Thank you. So over the next two days, we didn't really get up to much. For lunch on Friday, we had some leftover sushi bake. And then I had a FaceTime date with my siblings while doing some chores. And then for dinner, we had some barbecue unagi with a ton of banchan. On Saturday, we ordered a three-course meal from Kimchi Korea House. We've been meaning to try it, and it's definitely now one of our favorite restaurants. We got seafood pancake, chapche, and tofu jjigae. So before we end the vlog, we just wanted to quickly highlight Minari. We actually got a chance to watch it through Real Asian last week. If you're a child of immigrant parents, you'll definitely resonate and appreciate this movie. Daryl and I have been fans of Steven Yeun since The Walking Dead days, and so it's awesome to see him in a movie where he's the lead, and it's a movie that's doing so incredibly well. We highly recommend that you watch it. And that's it for our weekly vlog. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Bye, Bye friends! friends.